Hey, Jen here, and in today's video, I want to talk about the mechanics of suffering, like suffering as a process. And I'm going to use a personal example of one of my own processes of suffering and show you how um, unconscious or subconscious identification with our suffering, our process of suffering, really fuels the momentum of the underlying core belief and just keeps us primed for you know that process of suffering to continue and how removing our subconscious identification with that process is all that's really needed for us to reintegrate the vulnerability which is at the core um, which is being rejected in and therefore causing us suffering so that's a lot of words and if you're anything like me, I learn best with examples and things not being all wordy, but more tangible. So let's, let me do my best to, to help you out here. So suffering as a process. So when I'm talking about suffering, I'm talking about, you know, psychological pain, you know, you're charged, you're emotionally, you know, not feeling good. And the example that I want to use is my suffering related to shyness. You know, this shyness is something that I experienced for most of my life. And my process, my suffering process, the mechanics of my suffering with shyness went something like this. There was a trigger, which was, you know, you know, feeling like I needed to hustle to be somebody that I thought I needed to be for, you know, somebody perhaps I looked up to or I felt in some way in the spotlight. So that would be my trigger to, which would trigger a feeling of needing to hustle. So there's this feeling, this underlying feeling like, I'm not okay to just be who I am. I need to hustle to be somebody that I need to be in this moment. And the discomfort with feeling like I wasn't good enough in that moment, the discomfort with feeling like I needed to hustle to be somebody else was intensely painful. And the process continued with, you know, all of my awareness, you know, zooming in this like totally lost in this process of, you know, very condensed awareness focused on, you know, the incredible sensations going through my body, you know, of, you know, feeling like I was in the spotlight, you know, sweat, blushing, and then this pull into the story in my mind, which was really, you know, all about self-hatred, all about, you know, why can't you be who I want you to be in this moment? So why are you this person when I need you to be that person? And it was really like an angry tone. And, you know, I completely would disassociate with the present moment like whoever was in front of me you know I wasn't there anymore I was completely in you know the realm of my suffering so that was the process of my suffering and because I was so completely lost in that process of suffering like my awareness was completely zoned in on it and I was just playing out the mechanics of it I was fueling. So I want you to imagine that that subconscious identification, you know, like the puppet play of the mechanics of the suffering is the fuel that keeps that belief, keeps that, that the mechanics of the suffering alive and it helps it build momentum. Because it just, it, it fuels the belief that, you know, you need to be somebody that you aren't in this moment. You're not enough how you are to just be yourself. You need to hustle and be somebody else. And the intensity of it being lost in it just completely solidifies that belief to be true. And so it builds and it builds. And basically you're just waiting for the next trigger to happen and then boom, back into the mechanics of that pattern of suffering. So we have lots of these patterns of suffering in our life. And when we're you know, unconscious, to these patterns of suffering, like when we don't see them playing out and when we are completely lost in them as they play them themselves out, we're completely identified with them and all we're doing is we're fueling them. So what do we do? Well, it's really kind of easy, but it's really also pretty darn hard because all you really need to do is you need to bring your conscious awareness to 
the process of suffering. So for example, in my case with the shyness example, all I did in order to, you know, start to bring down and relax this momentum in the case of my shy suffering process, if you want to give it a name, is to bring my conscious or conscious awareness to it. And I just, I deeply felt what it felt like to feel like I was in the spotlight. I deeply felt what it felt like to, you know, be asking myself to hustle to be somebody else. And I was completely aware of the thoughts that were coming into my mind. And, and yet at the same time, because I was, you know, almost like an observer watching the whole event play out, there was this more spacious awareness. You know, I was rooted in the space of who I truly am, watching this play out, but not detaching from it, feeling it deeply, experiencing it deeply, yet bringing space to it, seeing it happen at the same time. And that is enough because I want to be clear here because you, you really don't want to, you know, try to dissociate from the process of suffering because that's, that's just a, a way of, um, it's like taking a pill or something or, you know, turning on the television. It's like distracting yourself from, you know, the, the rawness of the experience. And there is rawness there that needs to be held. You know, there's this feeling of, not being good enough in my my experience of shyness it's like can i hold myself in that place of feeling like i'm in the spotlight feeling like i'm not good enough as i am and stay grounded in who i truly am in my space of my being and just watch this process of rejection playing itself out but not get lost in it and when we start to do this it's like magic it truly is like magic because that's all that's needed for the momentum to die down because you're no longer fueling it with your subconscious identification. You're no longer fueling it by just being lost in it and totally believing and buying into it all, but you're just allowing it to happen while staying rooted in a larger space of awareness, in you know, being rooted in whatever, your space of being, I don't know what you want to call it. So that's what I want to offer you is really to first of all start paying attention to the mechanics of your own suffering and you know so whenever you go as you go about your day pay attention to when you become emotionally charged and use that as you know almost like you know a reminder to bring your awareness to the process like now, you know, you feel emotional pain, maybe it's, you know, anxiety or anger or whatever it is, shyness. Use that pain as a reminder to pay attention to the process. What's going on? You know, what are the feelings in your body? What are the stories going on in your, in your mind? And be a witness to it all while at the same time feeling it deeply in your body and, you know, seeing and hearing the thoughts in your mind without getting lost in them. That's the key. And what you'll see uh, is what so many others have seen, what I've experienced myself countless times is that there will be a diminishing of the momentum of that pattern of suffering. And you'll start to find a whole lot more freedom, just like somebody who finds freedom from their addiction, the pattern of suffering that, that goes along with, you know, perhaps smoking a cigarette or popping pills or whatever, you know, the addiction may be. So that's what I have for you today. And I hope in some way this video has helped you out or helps you out as you put it into practice in your life. I have a lot more videos on my channel, so you might decide to check those out. But more than anything, I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to sharing more with you very soon.